Hello, and welcome to the second in a series of four lectures on electric power quality. My name is Ben Stevens. I am a research assistant to Professor Surya Santoso at the University of Texas at Austin. This lecture will cover the characteristics of the various types of phenomena that are classified as power quality disturbances. Power quality phenomena are classified by IEEE standard 1159-2009 into three broad categories, as well as a number of subcategories. The classification of a power quality phenomenon is based on its spectral content, duration, and magnitude. The three main categories are classified according to duration. Transient disturbances last for less than half of one cycle in a standard 60 Hz power system and can only be identified through waveform inspection. RMS variations last longer than half a cycle and are identified through changes in the root mean squared values of the system voltage or current. While there is no upper bound on the duration of RMS variations, they are, by definition, caused by specific events that are temporary in nature. Continuous disturbances, on the other hand, exist in steady state and represent problems within the power system itself. Transient disturbances are caused by sudden and rapid changes in the power system. The duration of these changes is generally very short, lasting for less than half of a cycle. IEEE standard 100-1992 defines transients as that part of the change in a variable that disappears during transition from one steady state operating condition to another. There are two categories of transients. Impulsive transients, in which changes to voltage or current are unidirectional in polarity, and oscillatory transients, which are bidirectional. Oscillatory transients are grouped by their principal frequency. If this frequency is less than 5 kHz, the transient is considered to be low frequency. Low frequency transients typically last between 0.3 and 50 milliseconds and can be caused by phenomena such as capacitor switching, transformer energizing, line energizing, or ferroresonance. Shown in the figure is a low frequency transient caused by the energizing of a transformer occurring at about 35 milliseconds. Most often, oscillatory transients are caused by the switching of capacitor banks. These transients have frequencies between 300 and 900 hertz produce voltage spikes between 1.1 and 1.3 per unit, and damp out in less than half a cycle. The figure shows the voltage and current waveform characteristics of a capacitor switching transient. This figure shows another capacitor switching transient, this one showing the effects on all three phases. The switching occurs at about 15 milliseconds, causing a large oscillation in the current of one phase, along with significant oscillations on all three phase voltages. These oscillations have mostly been damped out by about 10 milliseconds later. Short duration voltage variations are a type of RMS variation. Short duration signifies that they typically last from as short as half a cycle to as long as one minute. The RMS voltage during this kind of event typically ranges from 0 to 1.2 per unit. These voltage variations can be further classified by their specific duration and magnitude. Variations lasting from 0.5 to 30 cycles are called instantaneous, those lasting from 30 cycles to 3 seconds are called momentary, and those lasting 3 seconds to a minute are called temporary. If the voltage magnitude falls below 0.1 per unit, the event is called an interruption. If the magnitude falls to between 0.1 and 0.9 per unit, it is a voltage sag, or dip. If the voltage magnitude rises to 1.1 per unit or higher, the event is called a voltage swell. Voltage magnitudes between 0.9 and 1.1 per unit are considered to be within the normal operating range of the power system and are not considered a variation. Voltage interruptions occur when the RMS voltage magnitude falls to less than 10% of its nominal value. There are many possible causes of interruptions, such as faults on the power system or equipment failures. Most often, however, interruptions occur as a result of an overcurrent protective device operating. For example, if a circuit breaker is called upon to isolate a short circuit fault on the system, the opening of the circuit breaker will isolate any downstream customers from the power source, driving their voltage to zero while the breaker remains open. The figure shows an interruption occurring on one phase, lasting for about 0.2 seconds. Notice that the other two phases experience voltage swells during the event. Voltage sags occur when the RMS voltage magnitude falls to between 10% and 90% of the nominal value. Short circuit faults on the system are usually the cause of voltage sags, though they can also occur due to the inrush current associated with the starting of large loads, such as motors. The figure shows a voltage sag event, with all three phase voltages sagging to about 0.7 per unit. Here is another example of a voltage sag. 
this one caused by the starting of a large motor. The motor draws a large amount of inrush current as it starts, dropping the voltage upstream until the current diminishes and voltage returns to nominal levels. Voltage swells occur when the RMS voltage magnitude rises to above 110% of the nominal value. Typically, the swell will be between 1.1 and 1.8 per unit and occur relatively infrequently. Voltage swells usually occur during single line to ground faults appearing on one or both of the unfaulted phases. In a grounded system, a voltage swell will occur if the equivalent zero sequence impedance seen from the fault point is greater than the equivalent positive sequence impedance. Swells can also occur in ungrounded systems, with RMS voltage magnitudes rising by as much as a factor of root 3, about 1.7 per unit. Long duration voltage variations are defined as lasting longer than one minute. The type of voltage variation, whether an interruption, under voltage, or over voltage, is defined by the per unit voltage magnitude of the event, as discussed previously. Over voltages and under voltages are caused by large changes in load demand or by system switching operations that connect or isolate significant portions of the power system. Long duration interruptions are caused by short circuit faults on the system. During normal operation of a three phase power system, the three voltage phases should be equal in magnitude and have phase angles 120 degrees apart from one another. This is called a balanced system. If the system becomes unbalanced with changes in relative magnitude or phase angle between phases, power quality problems may arise if the unbalanced condition is severe enough. The figure shows an unbalanced condition in which the RMS voltages of the three phases are not equal. Voltage unbalance can be quantified in several ways. IEEE standards quantify it by the ratio of zero sequence voltage to positive sequence voltage present in the unbalanced system. The ANSI quantifies it as the ratio of maximum deviation from the three phase average voltage to the three phase average voltage itself. Another long duration power quality issue is waveform distortion. This is any steady state deviation of the voltage waveform from an ideal sinusoid. The five primary types of waveform distortion are DC offset, harmonics, interharmonics, notching, and noise. A DC offset is the presence of a DC voltage or current in an AC power system. When such an offset is present, the average voltage or current of the system will be non-zero. Harmonics are sinusoidal components of voltage or current waveforms that have frequencies that are integer multiples of the fundamental power frequency. Harmonics occur due to loads on the power system that have nonlinear voltage current characteristics. The figure here shows a current waveform with significant harmonic components. The lower graph shows the waveform spectral content, identifying large contributions from the fifth and seventh harmonics. Interharmonics are components of voltage or current waveforms that oscillate at a frequency that is not an integer multiple of the fundamental frequency. Interharmonics occur due to loads with frequency converters present in the system. Notching is a periodic fluctuation in voltage that is both sharp and brief, caused by switching functions in power electronic devices. Noise is electrical signals with broadband spectral content below 200 kHz that is superimposed on the voltage or current waveforms of the system. Noise is something of a catch-all term for unwanted distortion that cannot be classified into one of the categories previously discussed. This figure shows an example of voltage notching caused by a three-phase converter. As can be seen, brief fluctuations in voltage occur at regular intervals, six times per cycle. Each notch corresponds with the switching operation of the three-phase power converter. One last type of power quality phenomenon is a power frequency variation. This occurs when the frequency of AC power changes from its nominal value, usually 50 or 60 Hz. As loads and generators change the demand and output of the system, the power frequency will fluctuate slightly. Unacceptably large fluctuations can occur when load demand for or generation of the system experiences a large, rapid change, such as a transmission line fault, large loads being disconnected, or large generation units going offline.